If you're looking for quicker and easier ways to make your reading rotations activities differentiated for each of your students, stay tuned and I'll show you how you can use ChatGPT to make texts and activities to suit each one of your students. Welcome to AI for Teachers. I'm Jen Twadell. My discovery that ChatGPT could make excellent reading rotation activities has been a game changer. The fact that ChatGPT is really versatile in the text that it can produce, I found that you can make text on any topic or subject, which really increases student engagement. So whether you want a text about a favorite actor or soccer player, or possibly your student's favorite cartoon character, any of these are possible on ChatGPT. You can differentiate the reading level and you can also make corresponding activities that link to the text. So to get started, head over to ChatGPT and I'll show you what prompts work well. Once you're in ChatGPT, you're just gonna put in the prompt, write a story about, and you give it a topic. You can suggest the year level of the student that's going to read it. You can ask it to include certain language features in your story. Today I've chosen noun groups, but you could do precise verbs, metaphors, similes, anything that you're looking at including in your stories. And then I gave it a reading level with using a Lexile. So I gave it Lexile 250. It has written a nice short story here on the topic of a bear family. Obviously this is where you could get really creative and you could include any topic your students might enjoy, ballet, soccer, anything like that. You can also ask it to include a character's name and give it the name of one of your students if you think that would help them engage with the story. Obviously, the next step I thought that would be logical would be to create some comprehension questions to link to the story above. So I simply put in the prompt, create eight comprehension questions to follow the story, to the following story, and use the QAR method of questioning. If you're not familiar with QAR, um, I find it to be quite useful because it gives you literal inferred questions and reflective questions. So you can see there, it's saying a right there question, a think and search question on my own, etc. cetera. Um, and I find that that will then give you a wide variety of question types. Then I followed up with create a close activity for the story above. Now it's taken the entire story and um, taken out some of the words for the close activity. Obviously, you're probably not gonna be giving the whole thing to your student as a close activity, but once you get it into your word processing document, you can just copy and paste the parts of it that you want. And it's also given me a answer guide. I did with this one hit that button down the bottom that says regenerate response and it regenerated its response and left spaces instead of numbers um, where it has left out the words. I think that would probably be more useful for a year one student in particular um, to follow along and complete the activity. So that might be the one that you copy over into your word processing document. And I also thought a punctuation lesson might be beneficial to go along with this activity. I came up with the prompt, create a punctuation activity that links to the story above, include full stops, question marks, and exclamation marks, as well as capital letters, and include instructions. So it's given me a little bit blurb on instructions. It's given me an example. And then it's just given me 12 sentences that aren't punctuated properly that the students could then go and rewrite or correct, as well as a answer sheet. And lucky last, I thought it would be good to create a vocabulary lesson link to the story. So I said create a matching vocabulary and definition activity with words from the story above. Now I had to try this prompt a few times um, to get the formatting I wanted. So I asked it to put it into a table form. And I think that would be a little bit easier for this age of students. You can see that the words and the definitions currently line up. So it's not really a mix and match. 
But again, once you get it out into your word processor, you could easily take those sentences and mix them up a little bit more for your students. I usually take the text and turn it into a little booklet for my students. After I've copied and pasted it into Word, I simply split it up into small sections and make them a little booklet. They really enjoy taking this after guided reading and independently reading each section and drawing a corresponding image to go with it. My other tip would be once you've copied the text out into Word, um, in your footer, just put the Lexile number so that in the future, when you use these documents again, you'll remember what level you made it at. And finally, in this next clip, I'm gonna show you how to make a table for your rotations. You simply need to tell ChatGPT your group names and what activities you're gonna have in your rotations and it will put it into a table for you. Obviously, you're probably not gonna be using this many uh, paper and pencil activities in your rotations, but you'll get the idea. Another tip is once you get the format that you like for your table, I would continue going back and using that conversation the next time you make a new table and simply tell ChatGPT to change the activities. I do find sometimes ChatGPT can give you various outputs. So once you find one that you like, it's better to just go back, use that same conversation and just tell it to edit it slightly. I think that will be quicker for you. Once you're in ChatGPT, simply put in the prompt Create a table for rotational activities. The groups are yellow group, blue group, red group, and purple group. Schedule in four rotations. The four activities are vocabulary, guided reading, punctuation, and illustrating. Each group should be placed in the table to attend each activity. Then you see that it makes you a table. You can then copy and paste that out of ChatGPT and edit it. Like I was saying, if you want to use a similar structure of table in the future, you can simply come in and just say, edit the activities and list the activities you'd like it to use. I hope this video has given you some practical tips and tricks for making your reading rotation activities. If you liked it, you think you'll save some time, hit the subscribe button. My channel will be full of lots of practical videos on how to help teachers. Remember to balance your work and well-being. This is AI for Teachers and I'm Jen Twadale.